Welcome back. So now we have some kind of view. Let's start. Uh, let's start expanding on it because what I really want, instead of saying left and right side, I want this to have a list view in the top, like this, and then some kind of button panel here in the bottom where we can have like uh, add person or whatever else we would like. So that's what we're going to do this video. Just add the UI for that. So let me shut down the application and. Um, I feel the easiest way to keep like the drag and drop of expanding panels and stuff like that is to keep using the grid panel. So that's what we're going to use. And then I'm going to show you the stack panel very quickly as well. Good. So let's start out by trying to, this is kind of scary, but what I need to do is I need to, let me just give you some space here to show you. What I want to do is I want to actually split this up into another grid panel. So I'm going to have a grid inside a grid. Let me zoom out a bit. So this is going to be a grid for the entire view. And then I'm going to have another grid in here for only this part. So I really feel that's a good way to work where you do minor grids and grids and then you kind of work that way. But that's up to you how you want to do it. Let's start off by just removing this extra high definition. So just delete that. There we go. It's, it's gone. Now, the text block, if I click it, you'll see it's marked. That's where I want to change things around. So I'm going to remove this guy now, and I'm going to make some space. Now this is empty. I've only added column one and column, um, that's column one and column two. Now I want to add a new thing into column zero. And what I'm going to add is a new grid. So now I have a grid inside a grid, and it's going to be placed inside column, uh, sorry, grid dot column, equals zero. So it's going to be placed inside the first column. Now I have grid and grid. <laughs> and when you put it in like this, it'll automatically stretch. So you can change this if you don't want it to stretch. We're going to do that with buttons soon. Okay, so inside the grid, I want to add a list view. Now I have a few ways to do that. I can add a list box, sorry, by dragging it in here, and dropping it, and it'll actually place it here, right where I dropped it. Or Let's undo that. I can just drag it directly into the text editor and drop it. This is a list box. When I drag it in, it'll automatically take as much space available as possible. And so it'll set to stretch and stretch. So that was easy. And that's all I want to do with the list box. Now, inside the grid, I need to make some kind of definition because right now I'm grabbing all the space with the list box. But I want, I want to make a definition like we did with the columns here, right? But we want to do it with rows. We want to define the first row and the second row. So inside the grid, we're going to try and make a grid definition, just like we did before with the, um, with the columns. But this time it's going to be grid, grid dot row definition, because it's rows we're going to define this time. Notice it all completes for me. I know this is, if you haven't touched uh, HTML or, or XML before, this is kind of scary, but just Get used to the standard. As we move forward in the course, we're going to go to HTML. If you learn this, you are, you're so much closer at understanding HTML. So we have a row definition. There we go. Let's add that. And the first row definition is going to have um, a height of star, just like we did. But now it's just explaining that we want to grab all the space from the top to the bottom available. And we're going to add one more, and that's going to be the second row definition, and then we're going to write 40. That's going to grab 40 pixels. So here we have a new grid that says the first uh, row is going to be all the space available, the second row is going to be only 40. Not only that, we also defined that we have a list box, and that's going to be placed in grid.row equals zero. We're going to place that grid in the first row here. So now that we have the list box ready for in, in row zero, let's, let's add a stack panel. Here's the second thing. There we go. Let's uh, end the stack panel so that we have some space. Okay. So with the stack, stack panel, we're going to add its row to, to the first location here. So that's going to be one. There we go. Now we have the stack panel available. And let's just add some margin to the stack panel. I'm just going to do 10 all the way around it. There we go. Now there's not a lot of space here, but the stack panel is there. Let's add a button here, and, and this time I'll just type it in, start, and I'll write button. Notice that if you know, if you know what to write, it's, it's fairly simple to do your content here. I'll write uh, add person, save that. I don't want it to take up the entire space, so let's just uh, put it right, and there we go. I just mark them here like horizontal alignment should be right, vertical alignment should be top. I'll save this, and now we have something looking like this, and that's... That's fair enough, I like it. Let's try and run and see how it looks. So it's up and running here, we have the add button, clicky click, and here we have our list view. So let's try and put some data in there in the next video. See you next time.